He will just go over a few microphones. So the headset, which is what I'm using right now, plugs straight into the computer or phone. It doesn't require any calibration. The good thing about it is that most people have them, so it's not like a piece of technology you have to pay for. Most people will have them, and you can even use sort of like a headset that you might have just for taking personal calls. Sometimes you can adjust the settings um, of the levels. So if it's too kind of soft, you may be able to go into your computer settings to adjust that. Not so sure about phones. I think phones are a bit more limited in what you can control. That's basically headset microphones. Smartphone microphones. So we have a smart lab that we generally loan out, but unfortunately we don't have access to the office either. So we can't really hire that out. The good news is that it's pretty cheap. It's only about like 60 or 70 bucks. You can get it from like JB Hi-Fi or something like that. Plug straight into your phone and then you just click it onto your lapel and it'll pick up your audio really nicely. Generally, you can't control the audio levels if it's on a phone, um, but it will give you really good audio quality. The thing that you'll need is um, like a phone and an audio recorder app, and that's all you need to go to get going with this microphone. There are other sort of USB microphones. So you can get the Samsung Meteor mic from AV Loans when they reopen. We've used these in a lot of workshops. It gives really good quality audio. You do sort of need a computer to record the audio. You can actually record using GarageBand or Audacity and things like that. They do have a recording button that you can just sort of select the input and press record. So I go over that in the GarageBand tutorials. This is a really sort of high-end recorder, but it's basically called a Zoom H4 or H6. So a H4 is just the earlier model of the H6. It is an audio recorder, but you can input XLR inputs into it. An XLR input is so this little three-pronged plug that's in this photo. So that's the good thing about these recorders. If this was a face-to-face -face workshop, I would have one and I'd be showing you how to use it. But unfortunately, it's not a face-to-face, -face, so we'll just have to make do with this picture. So this one has an XY microphone. So XY microphones are great for recording interviews because the position of the microphone, you can put it sideways and it will capture the audio of the person in front of you and your audio because it will be sitting in front of you. So it's really ideal for recording two people. It records to SD card, which you can then plug into your computer and you can control the audio levels. This is the, the beautiful thing about this device is that you can monitor and change the audio levels that you have. All you'll need is any, any sort of headphones that you plug into the device. So the H4 has two XLR inputs and the H6 has four. I don't expect you to learn this uh, device, especially because I've given you such a basic sort of intro. But when um, AV loans get up and running, you may just want to get it out and, and just test it and see if it's something you do want to use. If you do want to go with a H4 or a H6 Zoom recorder, you can plug in lapel microphones. You can get some that are just wired, so it means that the XLR plug will plug straight into that Zoom recorder and then it will click onto your lapel. And you can get wireless ones. We only use them, we generally use them for film. I don't think you'd really need one, but if you did want to sort of get one out from AV Loans when they're up and running, you can get one. So you'll just need headphones, a Zoom recorder and the wired or wireless lapels.